There we go. Okie dokie. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Aaron here. Today, I'm going over the Nerf Blasters for Nerf Gun Game Rival Edition. That's right, we recently just shot a Nerf meets Call of Duty Gun Game first person in a 4K version with just rival guns. I'm a big fan of the rival guns. They're my favorite line from Nerf, hands down. I used to play a ton of paintball when I was younger and wish I played it more actually. And Nerf Rival is the closest thing to paintball that you can do in your house, no problem. And it's much cheaper and much cleaner. And it's a lot of fun. So I thought, hey, let's do a rival edition gun game. So if you can see here in the background, I got all my rival guns on the floor there. As far as I'm aware, there is nine rival guns out right now and I have all of them. They got at least two more rival guns coming out this year that I'm aware of, and I'll uh, talk about that later in the video, which I'm really excited for. But why don't we just get started and go through the guns, and I'll tell you about them and show you the ones that I like and the ones that I would recommend for you guys to get. Let's go! Alright, so first up we got the rival Kronos pistols. The limited edition Deadpool versions that you could get from GameStop. They came in a dual pack. I'm pretty sure you can also get the Phantom Corpse, which is the white and black version of the rival guns that have been coming out recently. I don't have those, I just got the Deadpool ones. These are great blasters and it's really cool that the rival line now has the pistol variant. So all you do is prime these back like that. In the top here, you can load it up. There's already one round in there, so I'll fire it. Load some headshot ammo in there. The Kronos here can hold five rounds at a time. Close this, close this, and a couple of ammo, you're all good to go. Really good size for a pistol. The Deadpool version is really cool. And in the Nerf Gun Game Rival Edition, we also got Deadpool as a character to match the pistols as well, which is pretty awesome. Boom. <sighs> I look good. I look really good. I'm definitely a fan of the Kronos. I think the Phantom Corps are a little bit easier to find and probably a little bit more cheaper. So definitely, if you're looking for a good rival pistol, I highly recommend them. <laughs> look guys, balls. <laughs> All right, next up we got the Rival Apollo. Now I'm pretty sure this is the first rival gun that they released and it's actually one of the Nerf guns that got me back into doing Nerf videos. I remember I bought this about a month before I shot my first Nerf gun game, which is when I would consider myself, I turned into a YouTuber or whatever. First Nerf gun game allowed me to turn YouTube into a full-time job and got me over 5,000 subscribers and everything like that. Uh, I remember I bought this about a month before we shot that video and I was like, hey, they actually have a Nerf gun that shoots over 100 feet per second and it's kind of like paintball. And so we used the blue Rival Apollo in Nerf Gun Game 1. I actually don't just have the blue one anymore. We also got Phantom's Corp version that came out not too long ago. And then recently from GameStop, I also got the Bubbo. And recently from GameStop, limited edition, they also released the Bubba Fett Apollo version as well. And because of that, I had to use it in the video and we also have Bubba Fett as a character in Nerf Meets Call of Duty Gun Game Rival Edition. Now the Apollo is a pretty decent blaster for its price point. It's all right. These things pop in and out pretty easy compared to some of the other blasters like the Zeus, which I think is a terrible design. It's also really easy to prime it and fire just like that. It's kind of weird that you got to do it from the top, but it's kind of cool that you turn it and I don't know. So that was the second blaster, the Apollo. Next up here we got the Zeus. The Zeus is probably my least favorite rival blaster that they have made. Mostly because of this design of having to put this clip thing in. Like that. Feel the blaster is really nice and it's a good size. However, because you have to reload it inside of here, it just doesn't fit on the top nice and easy. Then jams really easy and this thing is annoying to take in and out to reload. Also, it only takes six C batteries, I believe. The new rival batteries that they have out, these right here do not fit in the Zeus. It's not compatible with everything. You literally gotta go buy C batteries every time. And even though I put brand new batteries in here, when we were filming, which happened to be during a snow Storm. It was freezing and it was brutal. It wasn't quite a blizzard, but it was pretty bad, let me tell you. Because it was so cold, this thing could not rev up at all, and I'm assuming it was because it was so cold. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know why, but it just was not working at all. Even though I had put brand new batteries in there, and when I tried it here in my nerf room, it was working no problem, like an hour or two before we went filming. But all the other flywheel battery powered blasters that we used these with had absolutely no problem in the cold. These are absolutely fantastic. I love these things. And the fact that the Zeus doesn't fit them is super annoying. However, just in case you don't know, you rev this thing up after you've got 60 batteries in the top here and then it semi-fires one at a time. 
I don't recommend getting the Zeus, especially not the red kind. Next up here we got the Nerf Rival Atlas. This is another blaster that I am not a fan of. For what it does, it is just way too big. It is a massive blaster for only shooting like one of these clips, which I think maxes out at like 12 or 14 shots. Put some headshot ammo. You guys wanna get some headshot ammo? Oh my gosh, spilling them all over the floor. You guys can get some from the link in the description. It's also an affiliation link, so it will help out the channel. And it is definitely one of the cheapest ways to get bulk rival ammo. All right, so you put this guy in the top here. Way easier than the Zeus, at least. However, when you prime it back, it makes the brutal mistake of shooting two shots at once, which is super frustrating. So instead of getting 12 or 14 shots, you're only gonna get six or seven. Or it's not gonna fire at all. Uh, we got a double jam in there. Fantastic. Jam door right here. Oh, nice. Also, I don't know if it's just me or I had a bad version of the blast or whatever, but I find this one jams a decent amount. I don't know if other people have experienced that or not, but I have definitely dealt with that myself. Moving on to the next blast. All right, next up we got an Artemis. This is one of my favorite blasters right here. Rival gun that's got three separate... Oh three separate tubes. I don't know what to call these things. <laughs> Each hold a 10 rounds, I believe, so you can get 30 shots in here. Really easy to load. All you do is pull this thing back right here, and then once you're done loading, you pull it forward, and then you just prime it with this. Oh, nice. Compared to the Atlas, I like this way better. Shoots over three times the amount of shots, and it's like, half the size, and it's even easier to reload and prime. Also, I got the blue one, so way better, right? So this blaster is just really simple. It has a ton of shots, and I like it. Also, a cool thing about this blaster is it doesn't matter where the rounds are loaded into. You can have them all in separate ones, or all of them just in the left one here, and it'll just keep firing all of them, so. It's a really good design for that. Now, one of the upcoming blasters that they've let everybody know about, I believe, is called the Hades. It is very similar to the Artemis. They released some information and some pictures about it. Basically, the Hades, all we've seen so far, is a Phantom Corpse version of the Artemis, but it is way bigger. Very similar to the Artemis, except it holds double the shots. Instead of shooting 30, it shoots 60. Basically, just this extended longer. I'm really excited for it. Any blaster that shoots and holds more ammo and is super easy to reload, Sign me up. I'll definitely get it in one I would recommend. You guys hear that from me all the time. Let's move on to the next blaster. Next up, we got the Nerf Rival Helios. This is very similar to the Apollo. Other than priming it from the top, you prime it from the side. And I think that is a way better design. Instead of having to prime it up here, kind of awkwardly, you can just do it down here and you can just fire easily. Also, we put a red dot sight on here. They go on pretty easily and they're like, I think like 20, 20 extra bucks. And voila. And I would definitely get this the Helios over the Apollo. I didn't think I could get any better looking, but damn, Aaron's right. Next up, we got the rival Hera. Another clip mag thingy goes in the bottom here. The Helios is basically the better Apollo. The Hera is basically the better Zeus. Way better. I really like the Hera and recommend it. And there's also, we put another red dot sight on this one as well. Comes in the Phantom Corpse line right now. Revs up in the bottom here. And semi fires one at a time. You can shoot this thing ridiculously quick. It takes the rival batteries just here in the back. I personally would prefer a hopper still. However, for the rest of the design, it is still pretty nice. And if you have multiples of these on you, you can switch them in and out really fast. It's a great size, looks good, easy to shoot, easy to reload, and obviously saw there it shoots super fast. If you're looking for a flywheel blaster that isn't the Nemesis, I would recommend the Hera or the Dart Zone Accelerator here, which I recently did a video on as well if you guys wanna check that out. It's basically a Zeus or a Hera, except it's got a hopper on it. We didn't include that one in the gun game, but obviously we included this one. Next up, we got the Nerf Arrival Chaos. Now this thing was a good idea, but again, was beat out by the Nemesis. <laughs> Great original idea to shoot 40 shots at once, but then this clip thing is just ridiculous. It's super annoying to reload this thing. You gotta pull all these tabs down. There we go. Pull these tabs down and one at a time, feed the rounds 
into the front like this and push them in. It takes so long to load this thing. You might be able to buy extra of these massive 40 round magazines. I can't remember and I haven't seen them. I wouldn't even spend any extra money on them. Like, just buy a Nemesis, honestly. All right, I'm not even gonna fill this thing up. This, this is ridiculous. 40 mag goes in the bottom here. It does take the Nerf rival batteries, and it also is full auto. We also put the flashlight on here, so there's an extra accessory, just like the red dot sight there. Button on the back, on and off. And the chaos here should be full auto. Let's try it out. When the Chaos first came out, I thought it was super cool, but now that there's the Nemesis out with 100 shots compared to 40, and it's easier to reload the Hopper, and then the Artemis can shoot 30, and this can only shoot 10 more. Uh, I would recommend getting the Nemesis or the Artemis or the Hera way more than getting the Chaos. So it was a cool idea, but just like the Zeus and the Atlas, they kind of got beat out by the other blasters, and this is one I wouldn't recommend getting. And of course, to finish it off, the best of the best, the one I talk about all the time, my favorite blaster, the Nerf Arrival Nemesis. Come on. Just kidding, the Nemesis is terrible, it jams, what the heck? Okay, that's what it is. It's not the Nemesis. So, last summer, before I got all my headshot ammo, I decided to buy a bunch of knockoff rival rounds, which like essentially headshot ammo is and a bunch of these other companies are, but I decided to buy, I think like 100 or 200 rounds off of eBay. And that, I just realized recently, was a huge mistake. These balls right here, which look the same as the Nerf or even the yellow headshot ammo knockoffs, are the ones I bought off eBay, and they are way softer than the Nerf and the Headshot ones. Because they're so soft, they jam incredibly easy. And I just threw them in with the rest of my ammo. So I have these random soft ones in my like box of like four or 500 yellow rounds. They're a pain in the butt, let me tell you. The other day, I, I sorted through a bunch of them and threw out like 50, but if I bought 100 of them, there's at least another like 30 to 40 of them out there. And this one just caused the freaking Nemesis to jam. So go into the garbage because they're literally useless. They are terrible. Make sure you buy good knockoff rounds. I did not realize till recently how much hassle those ones had cost me. And most of the jams I'm assuming I have had in the past have been because of those stupid ones I bought off eBay. I don't even remember which company they were or where I bought them from. It was probably about a year ago now and that was a huge mistake. So make sure you buy high rated knockoff rounds if you're not buying the Nerf ones or you're not buying the Headshot ones. Again, I would recommend the Headshot ones. I've been using them for about a year now and they are fantastic. I use them all the time, so. Close the jam door. All right. This one jam as well. Yep. Freaking squishy soft one, man. Knock off one from freaking eBay, man. I got I literally have to sort through all of these and throw all the bad ones out. There's another bad one right there. Freaking pain in the butt, man. Do not make the mistake that I made. Jeez, so frustrating. Also, they released info on another blaster coming out this year. The Nerf Arrival Prometheus. Now, you thought the Nemesis was awesome that shoots 100 rounds. The Prometheus is gonna shoot 200 rounds. It's gonna be a minigun turret style blaster. Now, I wish it did have the Nemesis style that it's easy to hold in the stock. I really don't want to hold it like a turret style. However, we'll find out if I like it or not when it actually comes out. I'm assuming it's basically just the Nemesis 2.0, except with a sling and a turret style. It looks really awesome. I'm really excited for it. So it's supposed to come out in the fall, I believe, of 2018 here. So I think it'll be a good year for Nerf Rival because Artemis and the Nemesis are two of my favorite blasters. And basically they are just making those two blasters even better by releasing the Hades and the Prometheus and just doubling the ammo capacity for both of them. So thumbs up for Nerf, no come on Nerf today, other than the Atlas and the Zeus and the Chaos. Get out of here Nerf, come on. Anyways, that's everything. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys will enjoy Nerf Means Call of Duty Gun Game Rival Edition coming real soon. Stay tuned for that. It was a lot of fun making it and shooting it. If you guys haven't already, make sure you smash the like button. Smash it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and if you guys go check out my gaming channel, Stratos, where for the most part I do daily streams and daily uploads of right now I'm playing Fortnite and I'm sure I'll switch games in the future, but that's what I'm doing right now, I'm having a blast. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you all later. Thanks for watching, bye bye Guys, these are hands down the best blasters. Get these, everything else Aaron has said is a lie.